This is the Topo Uncrate Edition Rover Pack. It's a special limited edition. Let's check it out. This thing wants to be your simple, sleek little love pouch. I think with one little caveat. Let's get into the details. Okay, the overview of this thing is it's a slender backpack, very slender and sleek with just a few pockets in it. One on the top of your thingy, two down here, three inside on the laptop sleeve. This sucker is made from really nice materials, okay? Ballistic Cordura. Hello, ballistic sounds amazing. I'm sure that means it's really good, right? Thick, it's really thick and durable. YKK, big old chunky zippers, listen. Big chunky zippers. On the Uncrate edition, there's this American bison leather. Like, I mean, come on. The leather has all these nice big bumps to it. It feels really good and soft. It's nice. Quick look at the back of the bag. The straps, I love these. I don't know, something about them. They're just really simple, super simple. They don't pinch. They don't get in the way. Don't know why I like these straps. I just think because they're thin or because the bag is so small in and of itself. These are just really a delightful part of the bag for me. Okay, pockets, let's take a look here. We've got this one on the top, which uh, which is just like, you know, a place to put stuff. Just sim all the pockets are basically the same size. So you've got this one right here at the top, okay? And then you've got this one at the bottom on the outside, both of them with huge YKK zippers on it. I don't know if you can see there. It's just a standard basic thing. No organizers anywhere in here, which I ain't even mad about. Like organized, like I could do, I like, like, I like to have a little pen sleeve. Like I'll be honest. <laughs> Listen, I'll be honest. I like to have a pen sleeve every day. I. I don't care who's listening. I don't mind having a pen sleeve sometimes. Now there's one more pocket on the inside of the bag, which you probably won't be able to see, which is just at the top of the laptop sleeve that um, is another place to just put some things. <sighs> I like this one because I can just kind of put some stuff in there and just forget about it. Like I don't even need to know about my extra headphones that I bring for airplanes and the headphone splitter or the, it's just a bunch, like none of this, you don't want to know about any of this. So three smaller pockets, one, two, three, and then you've got your big compartment, which, uh, which you know, is a regular big size for stuff. Um, and then a laptop sleeve, which I don't know if you can see in there. It's very simple. It is just a thin piece of fabric, basically double layer. That, uh, that you can fit your 15 inch MacBook Pro in. The laptop sleeve does go all the way down to the bottom of the bag, so your laptop isn't gonna be suspended up above. You wanna be careful when you drop it down because it's gonna hit the laptop. But there is uh, a little bit of padding here on the back of the bag, so the laptop will have the padding there, and so will your back, blink. <laughs> okay, now on the outside of the bag, you've got these two uh, water bottle compartments, one on each side, both of them identical. You could just kind of fit a water bottle in there. It's not elastic or anything like that. And then you've also got these compression straps, which the bag is pretty slender. Not sure how much I would need a compression uh, straps on the side here. And I kind of dislike them because, dude, look how many straps there are in this bag. How many things there are hanging off of this uh, this guy. There's just all of this stuff to get to get confused about where you are in the bag. Sometimes my fingers get lost. And then finally, you've got this drawstring top. This drawstring top means you can pull this thing tight. It's going to keep your valuables nice and dry in there a little bit. It's not. This isn't waterproof, but it's water resistant-ish enough. Another good thing is, I guess you can you can you can fill up the bag more. Like you can have things all the way up to the top and then cinch it down. But man, it makes it difficult to get down in there to find what you're looking for. If you lose something in there, a pen comes out of your notebook or something like that. And you basically, you just can't see anything. It's so big and long that way that, the, and then, that it feels like for such a sleek bag, this is a really sort of, um, I don't know, cumbersome bit up at the top. And then obviously you've got your little uh, flippy toppy on the toppy tippy there. That's uh, that's your cinch to get it to get it closed. When I've used this, I haven't used the drawstring at all. I just I, if it was if I was keeping this bag to use uh, on the reg, I would probably honestly cut 
that drawstring part out and cut the compression straps out because but i'm like particular about bags you know this about me you've seen some of my reviews now, I love Topo, American made, made with great stuff, very simple bags, going for that sort of like 70s Kelty aesthetic, which I really dig. This thing over here, one of my favorite bags of all time. I did a review on this. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. So I like Topo as a company. I like parts of this bag, the aesthetic, it's pretty sleek. I like the sleekness. I'm looking, I like a small bag that just does what it wants to do. I like the aesthetic of the uh, of the black on black on black on black with the uncrate. It's a cool little uh, limited edition, this one, and it's kind of rare. But from a use perspective, I just didn't like using this bag very much. I think because of the drawstring thing, it was just hard to get in there and find what I needed to get. I think the this, these kinds of mechanisms where they're strapped hanging off everywhere I don't find the elegance in them that much and I don't but I don't fault topo for that I mean this is like not supposed to be an elegant bag it's supposed to be like a rucksack that you run around to it you know but I do like these straps a lot I like how simple the straps are ultimately I love this I love the simplicity of the bag uh, but I but I'm not crazy about about uh, some of the use of it here is the verdict thanks for watching Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I have other bag reviews on my channel and I've got a handful of bags that I'll be reviewing soon. So subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. And if you are uh, making a small business, if you want to support yourself, if you're a blogger or a podcast or something like that, that's what I do for a living. I'm teaching people how to do that at a company that I helped start called Fizzle.co. You should check out the podcast. It's pretty good. Fizzle Show. I'll put a link for it in the description, uh, but you can just go to fizzleshow.co. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.